Matt McAllister here from richmondsputters.com, joined with Sputter Football running back Dante Black. Dante, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. So how are things going for you right now? I mean, obviously, uh, you only got to go through about a week of camp and then all the uh, coronavirus uh, started to hit uh, and then everything got canceled. Uh, how are you doing? How are you and your family doing? Um, we're all doing good. Uh, just been self-quarantining, trying to stay away from people, social distancing, stay healthy. Um, yeah, we're all, we're, doing, we're all doing good, staying at the house. How was that first week of practices for you? Obviously, first week of being a Richmond Spider, you know, back on football. Uh, how was that for you? Um, it was great, one, getting back on the field, playing football against us, what I love to do. And uh, it was it was obviously a big transition, learning a new playbook and stuff. But I think I was getting getting the stuff down packed, and it sucks that, you know, all this stuff happened. I only got to practice for a week, but it's all for a good reason. So, I mean. You know, got to stay safe. How have you been able to keep in touch with, you know, teammates and coaches? You know, how often have you guys been able to eat, talk with each other? Uh, we talk pretty often. We're in, I'm in a couple of different group chats with my teammates and stuff, FaceTime calls and stuff like that. Because we talk pretty often. We're trying to stay close, trying to stay connected during this time. And then uh, you, you talked about learning the new playbook. Uh, you know, is that stuff that you're, you know, you think you're able to, you know, work on while you're at home? Oh, yes, for sure. Uh, I can still go back and look at the film, critique stuff that I did in that one week. There's still obviously a lot of things I can critique. And just asking coach, like, things I need to get better at, and asking him for new installs and things like that to help me get, a, get ahead of the curve so I'm not still – so I'm still getting better with the system by the time I come back. So, obviously, you just came to Richmond in January – uh, you know, what What about your Richmond and, and the football team, you know, attracted you to transfer here? Well, um, they offered me out of high school, and they were, they were high up on my list of schools where I wanted to go. Obviously, some things happened. I went somewhere else, um, and I, I was unhappy there. And when I was looking for a place to go, Richmond was one of the first places trying to, trying to get me to come call their place home. and felt like home as soon as I got here. So, loving it. And how have how has the team accepted you in you know in January and especially that running running backs group? It's been great. Everybody's re- it's a really close knit group for sure. We're all just a little time that I'm there. I feel like I've made a bunch of new friends. Definitely some guys who I really like on the team. A lot of guys. Close how ex- how excited are you to you know get another opportunity? Uh, you know, hopefully when we get back in the fall. Uh, how excited are you to, you know, put on those sh- shoulder pads and, and get out there in some game activity? Oh, I'm beyond excited, man. This is, this is what I live for, playing football. So I can't wait for can't wait for football season to be able to play, be able to strap it up again, play with some guys who I really love playing with. So. Uh, if Spider fans have never seen you, you know, play, never seen you run, you know, what would you tell them they should expect to see from you? Um. It's a tough one. Uh, a guy who runs hard every time he gets the ball and a guy who's, who's going to make somebody miss, the first person that's ever going to tackle me. And a dependable running back, so we can lock, catch, him and run. Saw so some of your highlights from high school. Obviously, you put up you know, a lot of yards and a lot of stats uh, in, in high school. Um, how tell, – tell me about, you know, your time in high school and, and, you know, what things you – how much you grew as a running back and as a football player just the, in that experience in high school? Um, well, I'm not sure if you know this. I, I transferred from North Gwinnett High School my, my sophomore year to Brookwell High School, which is a local high school in Gwinnett County, Georgia. And um, I grew a lot during – from just that 11th to 12th grade experience. I hurt myself in 11th grade, so that made me mature myself mentally. In 12th grade, I came out a whole different, whole different person, I feel like, maturity-wise and on the field, off the field. So I think that that injury really helped me mature myself and made me realize the, the special situation I was in and be able to take advantage of that and know that I need to take advantage of that because it's once-in-a-lifetime opportunity being able to play high school football and college ball. You know, so. and, and is this time here kind of – you know, being away from the sport now, not by any any reason of our own, but 
Uh, does that make you, you know, realize how important football is to you now that you don't have the ability to be with the team? Yeah, that's 100%. Makes me realize even more how much I miss it. So I'm ready to get back to it for sure. All right. Well, we, we are excited to, uh, to see you in a Spider uniform this year. And uh, I know all Spider fans were, are anxious to have the football team back, back on the field. So I appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk with me today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. All right, man. Stay safe, you and your family, and uh, I'll talk to you when you get back on campus. Awesome. You too.